Hi. Today uh, we are going to see one transformation from Informatica that is expression transformation. What is expression transformation? The expression transformation is a passive and connected transformation. I assume that you already know the difference between passive and active transformation. Uh, the main purpose of the expression transformation is to calculate the values in a single row before we write it to the target. For example, uh, we might need to adjust the employee salaries to calculate the commissions and concatenate the first and last names or convert from string to numbers. The expression transformation is mainly used to perform non-aggregate calculations. We use expression transformation for test, character and conversion function like if then else, decode, is null, is date, etc. Now we will see one small example how we are going to use that expression transformation. Here is that example. Here I have already created one map called salary calculation and source and targets are already created and I, I assume that you already know how to create a source and target. It's only a simple thing. You might have already learned about it. There is no need to tell again and again. So I am directly going into the topic how we are going to use that expression transformation in a map you can from here you can choose this icon to create a, an expression transformation in the map like this and or otherwise you can go over here and use create sorry and transformation here you can go over here and click this create and the expression transformation will be there by using this we can create the expression transformation here is there okay either way you can create the expression transformation the expression transformation here you can using the rename we can name the expression transformation normally the naming conversion it starts with exp for mapping it should start with m underscore or our flow means wf underscore for expression transformation it starts with exp underscore and we will see about what are all the ports it's contain in expression transformation having three types of ports input port output port and variable port. The input port is that which receives data directly from its previous transformation. This is here. The I stands for input port. This is output port. The output port is that returns value of the expression or a hard coded value. The variable port is the temporary value of the current row. Okay, the mainly used for calculation purpose. Here we are going to see one simple calculation that is we are going to add salary plus commission. For this we are going to use the employee data. The employee data is already available over here and by using the select we can get it. <laughs> employee data is available and the target table already have created now it is empty we are going to populate this total salary by adding these two columns salary plus commission how we are going to do this now we will see okay here I have added one port by using this how to how to add a port it is very easy by just clicking this we can add one port here I have mentioned its O underscores that means it is output port and we have added one more port 
called v underscore sal that is for variable port mainly used for calculation purpose here you have to mention the salary plus commission how we are going to do this here the port is there you can click like this and put the plus symbol <laughs> click this now validate it that's all okay and we can connect to the target by using the uh, links okay either by auto link or you can drag and connect it to the target these are all simple things you can easily do it and there is no need to explain it each and every time so this is the way you are uh, going to create one expression transformation now we will see how it works and i have already created one workflow for this a uh, workflow it's very easy to create here you can click it and create the workflow and we have to add one session to it that session will be connected to the existing map and here we are going to give the connection properties where here itself we can give here we are going to give that connection details connection object should be already created with the help of this one and after that we have to mention over it here and target we have to give it and make sure the target load type is normal one after clicking this if you have made any changes means you have to save it otherwise there is no need it and you can start running it you have to monitor this in the informatica workflow monitor now it says running so now it's get succeeded and you can check by clicking this run properties here applied rows is 15 14 and affected rows is 14 here the applied rows is ro rows is 14 and affected rows is 14 so now it successfully completed we will check over here okay now the result is populated total salary but what happened here is here that commission is null means the result is null i think you already know about that if anything we add it to null the result will be null so the result should not be like this if the null value is there it should be treated as zero how to overcome this we will see it in the expression transformation here in variable uh, port we have to add one simple coding okay here what we are going to do is if then else we are going to use here how to use i i f then is null commission that means commission is null means it should be taken as zero otherwise the commission should be taken as that the uh, value should be taken okay now we are validating it the expression passed successfully the small coding change we have done over here now we will see what will happen what is going to happen we saved it and here we have to refresh the map as we have done changes in the mapping we have to save it before that we have to delete data that are already populated over here okay use the select now it is empty again we have to run the workflow now it's get succeeded now we will check the value okay here if the commission is null it is taken as zero and the value is populated over here so that small uh, coding what we have done in the expression transformation over here has helped us to overcome this issue so this is the way we are going to use the expression transformation Now the result we have got is okay. This is the brief explanation about the 
expression transformation we will see it in the we will see the another transformation in another session